Hello viewers, I am your host and guide, Chris13, welcoming you back to another edition of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Now last time, I went out and I just so happened to get a whole bunch of rages for Kau here. Yeah, that's right, loaded up. I don't know if I got all of them, but I wasn't really planning on getting every single one. Just the ones that I was gonna want for, well, pretty much the next upcoming areas and maybe a little bit after that. Um, mainly being if I can find them in here, oh my god. Yeah, one thing I learned while I was getting them is, uh, I have no idea what any of them are because the names are all messed up. So, I don't know what does what, or... Like, I don't know what half the, like, the Ipple... The Ipple Cur Apple? Yeah, sure, right. Okay, no idea who that is, so don't remember what ability they have. Um, the few of them that you do want to get, though, are... Well, the Stray Cat is one. The, uh... I'm pretty sure it was the Bilemodon. That's another good one, I, I think. I think. Um, Oversouls can, can be used pretty recently. One of the few that I'll like to use. And uh, Templar. Now, as I said, when you go into the rage, you get their um, weaknesses and like their elemental properties, so say someone like absorbed ice or was weak to fire, etc, etc, you'd get all of that. You also get any sort of status immunities or whatnot that they would get, so say if they're immune to death, so basically any like undead thing, you'd also become undead, therefore you'd get hurt by cure, but you become immune to death or immune to blind or slow or immune to whatever other sort of status effect that that rage would give you. And as you saw when I used the Templar that one time, you also get from certain rages Protect, or Shell, or Haste, or other sort of, you know, cool things. Um, Stray Cat gives you nothing. But its rage is the strongest physical attack in the game. Where it has its regular attack, and then its special ability... Like, the one that it'll use occasionally does four times the damage of its regular attack, which is, yes, the strongest. Uh, Templar's good because it has fire too. Um, Oversoul's good because its special ability is, uh, pretty sure it's fire-based, but it can't be absorbed by Runic, which is key because then you can still hit things with magic for a decent damage without worrying about Runic absorbing the magic back. Uh, if the Belamadon is what I think it is, it has uh, Gigavolt, which is a pretty strong, you know, lightning elemental attack. And there should be someone in here, I'm not sure who, but one of the uh, little sand ray things, like the Aranade or whatever, has an ability called Numb, which will, uh, basically cast stop on the enemy, which would be good in some boss fights, where some bosses are actually weak to numb. But enough about that, moving on, we were told that there was a, uh, a helmet thing that would allow us to breathe underwater here in this uh, crescent-shaped mountain, and this is where Gao told us that we should be going, so... Hmm. Alright, um, uh, Gao, where's this treasure of yours you've got here? Cyan, the shiny thing Gao was talking about must be here. Uh, Sir Gao, where exactly is this thing? Gao, forget! So we search for it then? I suppose that is unavoidable, sir. Alright, now, you kind of want to be careful in here, because you step on certain squares and Gao will search for certain different things. Like, you come up here, and well, you'll see it's not here. you also notice I got a fair amount of gill. Maybe not quite as much as I would want, but a, a fair amount. 
Um, what else can we find? We can go over here. Huh. What? It's a large hole. Yes, Gao, there's a large hole. Oh, and a potion. Uh... Thanks? Well... Yeah, we got ourselves a free potion. Alright, what else can we find over here? Something over here? What about up here? Maybe it's up here? Hmm... What's up, Gao? Did you find something? Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything. Go! Oh! Jesus! Gah! There was 500 gil in that pouch! Yeah, if you're following along, don't come up here. Because, uh... Yeah, you actually lose 500 gil for doing that. It, it comes right out. Yeah. Oh well. It was fun nonetheless. Nothing over here. Huh. Only one place left to go. Fancy, it seems to be at the end of the cave. <gasps> Is this the shiny thing, sir? Here, here! It's a strange glass ball. It looks like you've been worn over the head. Hmm. That gives me an idea. I shall wear it, and you guys shall drown while I drag you through the current. Come on, let's go! That current is quite fast, sir. No shit. But if we don't follow the Serpent Trench, we won't be able to reach our friends. And by our friends, I mean my friends, whom you have never met before. So, once again, I'm going to put on this uh, helmet, and you guys can just drown along beside me. Because, uh, didn't the developers take into account the fact that there was only one helmet for three people? Seriously! And, uh, Gao's a bit far behind, even if they decided to, like, trade off at some point. Anyways, here we are, going through the uh, Serpent Trench. You'll just... it'll move forward on its own. And every now and then you just get into a random battle. Yeah. Faced with enemies that really aren't all that special. Let's just, uh... If the... Bilimadon is the one I think it is... It should have a lightning-based attack that I'm not going to get to see. Joy, because I'm going to kill everything before that. But, not that it mattered, we killed all the enemies anyways, so... Eh. Oh well. Um, you do have to be careful though, because you would assume that, um... Oh, you also have to select every now and then whether you want to go left or right. I just always go to the right. But, oh, yes, as I was saying, um, see that little dude up here? Yeah, be careful with him, because if you hit him with a blitz, he'll counter with Gigavolt. Same thing that you would use with the, uh, pretty sure it's this one. So, let's, uh, not hit him with the rage, and let's not... Yeah, goodbye. Now I can use my rages again, or sorry, now I can use my blitzes again. You don't want to hit him with a blitz. That's what I meant to say. Do not hit him with a blitz, because he will counter with Gigavolt, and your party will take large amounts of damage. And seeing as how we're in one of these, like, automatically, like, moving things, we can't access our menu to, like, cure between battles. You'd have to hope you get to one of these caves, where you could then cure up your party. Anyways, we got ourselves an X-Potion, which is nice, and we can continue on. Yeah, if you go to the left, you might miss that. So... I just go to the right, and once again, let's just go to the right. We. Huh. Yeah. So, um, like I said, uh, for when you see that little tiny floating dude, try and use a rage that's like Templar or something, because I'm pretty sure something in here is also weak to fire, so that could really hurt them. And ouch. Um. Otherwise, just stick with the Belamadon. Oh, okay, so yeah, there we go. 10,000 volts, I guess that's... 
the uh, Gigavolt. Same difference. But yes, so I was right. That is the one that casts really strong lightning. But yeah, those those are all the enemies in here. The only ones really you have to be careful for are the large snakes because, as you can see, they cast uh, water rake or whatever it was called in this game, which does pretty good damage to all your party members. And you want to be careful when you got that little guy because if you just use your blitzes, and because you can't target with them. You've got that chance that Sabin will decide to attack him, and then, well, you get hit with the attack that Gao just used against him, which is not good. Cause then you die, basically. Ooh, and we got another green beret. Oh. I also meant to point out that I've got quite a few of them now. Savin's got one, Cyan's got one, gao has got one. Um, just because while I was running around trying to uh, get more rages, like I was basically just looking for the stray cat and uh, a few others, and they just, it would not appear. So I managed to fight the uh, Telstar satellite, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a few more times and managed to pick up a few more green berets. So, that's awesome. Yeah. And washing up on shore, this should be the town of Nikea. Or Nikia, or Nikea, or whatever you want to call it. I call it Nikea. And to continue on, we just need to talk to this ship captain who will take us to South Figaro. But, before that, you can actually come up into town, you can, I'm pretty sure you can raid some of these barrels for a few things, not very many of them, it's not like South Figaro, there might be only like one or two that actually have something in them, but, yeah, you can talk to people, they don't really have anything all that exciting to say, but as you can see, there's shops here, you can, uh, leave the town for whatever reason, I guess if you wanted to come out and like grind, right? But it's not like you can go anywhere because here we got a dead end and over here there's mountains in our way. And it's not like you fight any sort of special enemies, they're enemies we fought before, so really? whoop de frickin do and Cyan, you suck. Oh wait, never mind, it's because we're in the back row. Regardless, Cyan, you suck. But yeah, heading back to town. Hopefully no more battles with shitty weak enemies. Um, if you go into... Don't need to go to the inn, there's nothing all that great in there. Um, oh yeah, you can talk to this little guy. Yeah, this, this little kid actually sells relics. Isn't that crazy? Not that we need anything from him, but he does. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is basically just a uh, trading town, but if you come in here... No, not this person, huh. But yeah, lost his son, disposed him on the beast planes. Hmm, I wonder if that's Gao. So is that Crazy Man, Gao's dad? There have been a few things pointing at it, but... Huh. Strange. Yeah, that's it. No ships coming here, because the Empire is a bunch of jerks. But yeah, talk to this lady here for a pretty funny little cutscene. And more reason as to why Cyan sucks. And yeah, also why Sabin is so freaking awesome. Ugh. And yeah, 
Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't read it out, but I was kind of reading it myself, because it's the first time I've seen that scene in this translation, so... Too bad. Anyways, you can come over here, you want to go to the shop, because... Huh. Never mind, there are no better weapons. Crazy. Um, okay, armor. I'm sure hoping I shouldn't have bought my armor in the last town, because... Yeah, no. Okay, maybe weapons, but... Armor you can just pick up here. So, what do we need? Lock doesn't use shields. Oh boy. Okay, so, we're gonna want... No. We're gonna want, um... One Iron Helm, which we already have, because we have three... Extra... Green Berets? Yes. And the Green Berets are better than the Iron Helms. So... Pretty sure everyone can equip the Green Beret, and that'll just leave us with, yeah, one person who doesn't need it. Okay, so we're good on helmets, and then armor. We're gonna want one, two, three, four of these. Alright, so it turns out I actually have more than enough armor for everybody. Um, defense 40, defense 39, yeah. Kempo gear, no reason to get any of that. Alright, cool! Look at that, we're moving on. Didn't even need any of that stuff, really. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, Capitan, take me away. Off to South Figaro we go. You can see Nurse on the horizon, sirs. I hope my older brother and the others made it there safely. I wouldn't worry if I were you. Gow! Aww, they all care for each other. The three groups have gathered in Narsh, and now the decisive battle begins. Which we're going to see next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Until then, guys.